in East Portland are saying enough is enough tonight. They want local and state leaders to take some action. They say they're sick and tired of deteriorating conditions in their neighborhoods. They say is coming from homeless camps. Our Valina Jones was at one of two rallies that were held to lay and she joins us now. Valina? Well, Jeff, Montevilla neighbors rallied during the peak times of rush hour traffic to draw more attention to their concerns. Their mission is to partner with others to find sustainable solutions. Enough is enough with what's going on in Portland and we need to come together with creative solutions. Those honks symbolize the solidarity this frustrated group of East Portland neighbors is looking for, who say they're tired of homeless breaking into their homes, drilling into tanks to steal gas, and being threatened in their own community. We have, um, we've had camping across the street from our house. Um, we have neighbors whose children that are under four years old have picked up needles. Um, we have uh, trash and human waste. Um, we have some neighbors that are right along the uh, 205 who have daily occurrences of drug dealers, theft. Areas like this one on 106 in Northeast Halsey and a homeless camp on 97th and East Burnside are a small glimpse of what they see every day and why the group hung banners from the Gleason overpass on I-205 calling on the mayor, police department and other local and state leaders to address their concerns. A lot of activists like to say that these people are neighbors too, but neighbors don't drill into gas tanks or steal from their neighbors. That's crime and that needs to be addressed. What they want is solutions like more funding, services for addicts, and permanent housing for people like Linda Burgett. Not affordable housing, everything's so expensive, and you know, once you're out here, it's really hard to get out. Burgett has been homeless for three years and tells me she shares some of their concerns. I hate that. You know, I'm no part of that. I'm always cleaning up garbage, and it, it gives us all a bad name out here. Not all of us are responsible. I, I wish I could make that stop also. I'm scared to go to sleep at night, you know, and people don't even care, you know. You could care if you live or die out here. Now you can find more about how the group says they want to partner with a number of community groups and leaders to develop new solutions. We'll have that on our website. I also reached out to the mayor's office, who's declining to comment at this time. Yeah, you know, I did that homeless series just a few months ago, and the problem is we keep doing the same things, and it's not working. Mm -hmm. We really need to find a solution to this. Thanks, Felina. Yeah.